everyone welcome back to another video so today I thought I would share how I overcame my depression and how you can too so one of the first things I'm gonna put out there is depression is a state of mind but it's also a choice um, so you can sort of go around being sad and and sort of focusing on the negative things that are going on in your life like I don't know maybe you've just had a divorce or <laughs> who knows right um, so you could go around focusing on the negatives um, and then of course that making you sad and sadness is also a choice in the moment as well so you can basically go around being like oh you know I've just been divorced so because of that I'm sad but you have to remember you are choosing to be sad um, same as happy you know happiness is a choice choose to be happy so um, how I overcame my depression, I was in a bad position, um, I wasn't very happy with the sort of way that my life was going and I was just like, you know, just kind of like playing video games and just sort of getting, getting like, um, trying not to be me, I was trying to sort of be someone else who, who I wasn't, um, just to kind of uh, just to kind of get by as such so anyway I um, that's that's how I got over it and I got over it by you know exercising uh, eating right you know doing a lot of watch and doing and, and sort of watching a, a lot of self-help uh, books and videos and audio books and you know things like that and I would um, research on these things like how can I improve my mindset so I'd be as I was cycling along or running or walking or whatever I'd be having an audio book in sort of like reprogramming my mind almost so instead of something bad happening and me being like oh poor me you know this has ruined my day and you know I'm gonna dwell on this and talk about it for the next two weeks um, and be sad about it I'd be like, oh, well, you know, and then I'd look at the bright side. So maybe I'm riding along and my chain comes off, right? I'm going to be thinking, well, I was on a hill a minute ago. Imagine if it came off there and, I don't know, like flung into my front wheel and then threw me off the handlebars down a hill, right? But, oh, no, no, instead it came off on the flat on a, on a, on a not very busy road and... I just was easy able to just stop, pull my bike over and fix it. All right, it was some inconvenience to me, but it could have been worse, right? So you have to think to yourself, oh, um, I don't know, I'm, I'm struggling with money at the moment. You know, I can't afford this, can't afford that. But you can afford a, a roof over your head. You know, you can afford to eat rice, you know, things like that. You can afford the cheap foods, um, which is more than some people can afford, right? So just look at the look at the bright sides you know uh, or you could think well you know i'm still healthy i'm still able to go out and get a job which can actually get me some money so i can get myself out of this situation so basically getting over depression is just a mind shift essentially it's just changing the mind um to uh, st stop being so negative basically um focusing more on the positives focusing on what you have versus what you haven't um, I would say exercises like that can be very good. Um, also, not <sighs> being grateful as well, like having an attitude of gratitude versus um, being a sort of negative Nancy and oh, I haven't got this or you know I didn't I didn't get this I should have got this much or you know oh, I've got a bonus from my boss this this month but you know it wasn't as big a bonus as I expected. At least you got a bonus. A lot of people aren't getting bonuses, right? You know, <laughs> or you got a pay rise, but it wasn't as much as you hoped. Um, that's all I can say. Just, just be grateful. You know, uh, focus on the positives versus the negatives. Um, focus on what you have versus what you have versus what you don't have, um, and just, just be grateful. And you know, um, if you feel sad one day, question it. Why am I feeling sad? What, but most importantly, what can I do to make myself happy? So maybe you're sat there, you, I don't know, just bored basically. A lot, a, a lot of depression can come from boredom because it's like you're bored 
and then it's like you feel bad because of that and then because you feel bad you don't feel like going out and doing anything so get yourself out of the house go meet a friend go walk in the park go for a jog go for a bike ride you know go shopping do do whatever you want if you can't afford to go shopping go go looking <laughs> go window shopping uh, whatever right um so yeah at the end of the day um, a lot of people think they need to take tablets and it's a serious like mental disorder. Depression just simply a um, just a state of mind. It's, and it's a state of mind and it's a choice. It's not a choice that you think, that you, you think oh, am I going to go left or right kind of choice. But it is a subconscious, almost like accidental choice that we choose and continue to make. Sadness, happiness, emotions, all of those things anger, de depression, these are all choices that we make, right? So the best thing to do is stop making those choices, right? Or if you find yourself in a state of sadness, think, why am I sad? What can I do about this? Or if you find yourself in a state of anger, stop it and learn to control it, right? Don't let, you know, don't let your emotions control you. You control your emotions. So yeah, let me know if you have any um, comments about this in the comments down below. Give this video a like if you've enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video everyone.